Now then YouTube, I am the Toff Man and welcome to a complete guide on Thorncraft 4.2. If you haven't seen my previous guides, I suggest, I highly suggest you go ahead and go and watch them because I'm not going to be covering everything all again in 4.2. There are a few things that have changed that I want to tell you guys about, but predominantly most of it is the same. Uh, so I'm not going to be covering it all, let me just go ahead and turn it to daytime. So that you guys can see what's going on and get rid of all of that. Alright, so I'm actually in my Thorncraft and Britannia Unite. I'm in a creative world. Uh, that's where I actually did my little flower pot there. Anyways, um, so I'm going to show you guys today what is new with Thorncraft 4.2 and what to expect. Okay guys, well I first, the first thing to start with and the, the most obvious thing to start with is the Thormonomicon. Now I have a cheat mode of this Thormonomicon so things you'll see on here are different to what you'll actually see when you open your Thormonomicon for the first time in Thorncraft 4.2. First and foremost, guys, the tabs down the left-hand side, you will notice a brand new one. That is unlocked further on down the list of, uh, of things. When you first open your Thormonomicon, the Eldritch tab won't be there. Um, I'm not entirely sure at which point it actually opens. I'm going to go ahead and look that up. Um, but you do get that unlocked at some point during your research, uh, your research career in Thormcraft. Now, the other thing to note, guys, is... On Th in Thorncraft 4.2, there are now these ones, and they've got this little kind of dark cloud around them. And these are called Forbidden Knowledges. And you remember the Forbidden Knowledge from uh, like a couple of versions ago when there was Forbidden Knowledge. However, this is much, much different to what that was. Um, the Forbidden Knowledge, basically, if you find this, you will end up with what is called a warp effect. The more you search Forbidden Knowledge, the more warp you gain. And then some st the effects start to happen. Now, all I've had so far are effects like... Um, giving you certain different bits of aspects, primal aspects, and other things like it makes you feel weak and stuff like that. So I, I still don't know the full range of what you can actually get with the warp, but be very, very careful if you're going down the list of things that you're getting and uh, you do do a lot of forbidden knowledge because that is a thing now and you will get warp and you will get these little effects that go on. They are in the configs. You can change off these effects so that you don't have them. You don't have any warp whatsoever. What I would like to see and what I may suggest is... Um, a way of turning off certain warp effects. I know that there's quite a few of them. So a way of just in the configs of changing certain ones off. I would like to see that, and I might go ahead and suggest that to As, and I'll see what he says. Um, it would be nice to to, to give that kind of customization. So there's a lot of new things that's actually been brought in to uh, to Thorncraft 4.2, and I am going to be covering them in uh, in future videos and stuff like that. Look. The Infernal Furnace is now a Forbidden Knowledge. It's a minor one. You can see it in the brackets there, minor. And uh, let's go and have a look. That is a new one. That's moderate. Um, and it gives you, obviously, more warp as you're going along. So, mostly harmless. So, that gives you hardly anything. But just to keep that in mind, guys, that warp is definitely in this uh, version. Now, you can go ahead and look at it. Now, if you haven't seen my Thorncraft 4.2 and Britannia Unite series, then uh, you won't have seen this. Now, this is a brand new little bu button that you can press on that gives you all the information you need on warp, flux, and all things bad. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and read this. You can go ahead and pause it if you like, or download the mod, which will be in the description below, and then, you know, read it yourself. Now, the flux has changed just a little bit. Um, flux flew apparently, is a third manifestation. Now, I actually haven't got this yet in my Thorncraft and Britannia Unite series, and I'm sure it's going to come up at some stage. Um, the first two manifestations are considered annoyances by most thermaturges, and it's often the result, uh, result of wasteless use, uh, wasteful use of magic, which, of course, everybody knows about those first two uses, um, th these first two manifestations. It's not particularly hard to clean up, but coming into contact with it can often cause the third manifestation, which is flux flu. Flux flu is not particularly dangerous, but while a thaumaturge is suffering from it, he finds it difficult to focus vis, which often leads to increased vis usage to get something done. So that's the third manifestation, and it does kind of get in the way a little bit when you're trying to do your stuff, because you need more vis than what you actually would do. So just something to keep in mind there is the changes to flux also. Alright guys, so we've done the, the changes to the book, and oh, just in time to see some of, uh, some of this. This is actually a new effect that I've seen, it's obviously blindness. Um, you might actually see it, yeah. 
So 20 seconds worth of blindness. This is another effect, just in time to see one, of warp, when you've got too much warp. Now, when I've got a creative one, so as soon as I opened this, I got all of the effects. Um, so, just waiting for this to, to, uh, to come off. Now, in the past, guys, um, in the past, let me just go ahead and get myself a little bit of a setup, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I've got my little setup here, and you'll notice I have got, actually got another warp effect. Now I've gone into the configs and I've changed the warp effect off, just for the purposes of these videos. But I've got Deadly Gaze, and it lasts for about 7 or 8 minutes. It's actually a really, really long one. And uh, other than what I can see, um, I just think it makes the screen black. Now I've had an idea guys, I think that the Thormonomica, I think that the Eldritch tab is actually unlocked when you get to a certain amount of warp. Or at least I think that might be the case. I could be totally wrong by that, but I'm pretty sure that it is uh, the amount of warp that you have will allow you to unlock that Eldritch tab. Just get, you know, get yourself enough warp and, uh, and then the tab will be unlocked. Alright, so, I'm just going to continue on with this a little bit here. I've got like three minutes of Deadly Gears left, and uh, well, the thing is that you can see what's going on anyway. In the past, I've got Herbera Century. Now, let me get some goggles. Not Googles, goggles. Let me slap them on my face. So, you can see I've got some Herbera Century here, 64. Now, in the past, the Arcane Lamp has actually taken the Essentia straight from the jar and put it into itself. That is no longer going to work, guys. That is another fundamental change that's been brought into 4.2 thanks to this new Vise network that's going to be happening, um, which I love, by the way. You'll see a little bit more, than that, uh, more on that in my spotlight uh, a little bit later on. Uh, you can either pipe it straight in there or you can use the Vise network. So you cannot just slap a, a, a jar down and it'll go into the lamp. Same for the Infernal Furnace. You can't just slap down an Ignis jar now and it will go into the Infernal Furnace to make it faster. You will have to either pipe it in or, um, you know, use your Vise network. I think the Vise network is actually the easiest way of doing it. So... Uh, we'll get to that again. We'll get to that a little bit further on down the line. But this is another fundamental change, guys, and one that I really think that you guys should know. Otherwise, you're going to get a little bit stuck later on down the line. Another minor thing that I want to show you guys is that silver woods have actually changed the way that they generate. No, no, no longer will you get just like a, a, a little log and a tree, just like a straight tree going up. Well, you will have something that looks and closely resembles an actual tree. It'll have the little roots going down at the bottom here, and we'll have a thick trunk going up the top there. You will still get the certain, uh, like, um, a little chance of getting a silver wood sapling from there, but uh, just to let you guys know that uh, silver woods now... Um, grow like this, which is pretty ledge. Other changes to the world are mana beans. Now, mana beans can um, grow in magical biomes, as you probably already know. However, there are some very, very fundamental changes to those as well. They will only contain primal aspects. They won't contain any of the other aspects. They won't be like combinations or anything like that. However, the way to make them ha have different combinations is plant them next to each other. Now, unfortunately, I thought growing this might actually change it to a magical biome, but it doesn't seem so. Um, I can't plant this at the moment, but if you do plant them next to each other, it will have a chance that they will breed together uh, the compound aspects to make combina combinations of its own and the obviously the adjacent aspects. So, in other words, guys, if you have like a, a Terra and a Terra right next to each other, then... Oh, what's the other one? I can't remember what that makes. <laughs> but either which way, the ones that combine to each other to make something else, if you plant them next to each other, it has a chance of combining um, and then, of course they will be able to grow those particular aspects. Another thing that's been done to the mana beans is they now have eight growth stages rather than just the three, I think it was, in the last one. So, you know, be aware, guys, that it's going to take a while for those things to grow, and especially at eight different growth stages. Um, so there you are. That's um, the changes to mana beans. Another small change into Thorncraft 4.2 is these zombie brains. Now, zombie brains can actually now get a small chance of dropping from normal zombies, uh, just to make, you, make sure you guys know. Now, apparently, it says here that they are 30% more delicious, so I wonder if they've actually become uh, a little bit uh, more like saturating in food value. I don't know. We'll, well, I suppose we'll see in the future, but it does say that they're 30% more delicious. I don't know what that means. I just think that maybe it gives you a little bit more hunger when you eat them. 
Okay guys, so I think I've covered all of the basic changes to the book, the warp system, all of the different things that have changed with regards to the aspect system and piping stuff into like lamps and stuff like that. Um, I think I've covered everything that has changed within this type of format. So in Thorncraft 4.2, and this is literally, I am going by 4.2.0.0. In the future, if more things change, of course I will cover them. So please go ahead and you know click that subscribe button, click the like button if this has been useful to you guys and I just hope that I've covered all of the basics that's changed in 4.2 uh, enough for you guys to just jump into 4.2 and get yourself started if you want to know more about the new items that's actually in uh, 4.2 then by all means guys you can go ahead subscribe to me in the future there will be videos on these particular items and I say in the future it's probably in the very very near future guys like in the next couple of days you will see a few videos coming out all about Farmcraft 4.2 and the new items I will go into depth on how to get the items I will go into depth on how to use the particular items and I do hope that you'll find it useful for those of you guys who don't want spoilers who want to just do it yourself it's gonna be in a separate video so I wouldn't worry about it this is basically just covering the changes until next time guys I've been the Tough Man, thank you very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.